How's it going everybody? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today what I've got for you is my very first Elite Rewards and Elite 2 Rewards to be precise. We went 25-5 and five in the Weekend League which is just absolutely phenomenal and I'm very very excited to open up my rewards. We are live on stream right now so anything you see pop up underneath the face cam down there uh, is from the live stream. Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitch, link in the description. I live stream you know, every sort of two days roughly. And I live stream every Thursday my Foot Champions rewards as well. So make sure you get involved over on Twitch and get involved in the party. It's a lot of fun. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and open up my rewards. I'm very nervous. In terms of the team of the week, the players realistically that I want, there's not a whole lot of players that I'm actually, you know, sort of rooting for. I think Ericsson, Sterling, Tovan, Lozano and Douglas Costa are really... The, the sort of five that I would like from uh, Red Rewards and, of course, the expensive ones from my Inform pack. But like I said, this is the first time I've got an Elite on FIFA 19. And here we go. We have them to claim. We also have a few uh, other rewards to open this video. So make sure you do stick around to open... Uh, to, sorry, to watch those. Uh, so let's do it. Let's go ahead and, uh, and claim these. I'm so excited for this. Let's go. Elite 2 in Foot Champions for the very first time and hopefully not the last time. Let's do this. I'm I'm so nervous. So for Elite 2, we do in fact get ourselves three player picks with five items per pick. Ow, I just hit, hurt myself. We get 100,000 coins, a premium team of the week pack, and a 100k pack. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. I'm excited for this. All right. Let's do it. So hopefully in one of these, we get something decent. I, I'm nervous. I'm genuinely very nervous. First one. First one. Come on, EA. Please. Something. Okay, we get Stuani. 85 rate. We also get Aaron Moy. See, Stuani would make sense because he's great for SBCs. But Aaron Moy is also a Premier League player that I actually possibly would use at some point. Uh, let's have a look at his in-game. Uh, no, they're not good enough, actually. I'm going to go with Stuani. 85 rated. We're starting off with a high rated carb. Someone good for SBCs and stuff like that. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Here we go with the second player pick. Second player pick. Come on, EA, please. Someone decent. Trent Alexander-Arnold is decent. That's actually good. I'll take that. Luis Adriano as well. It's actually a solid card. Is he got? He's got four-star skills as well. It's actually a really good-looking card. Six foot with 88 jumping, 80 head accuracy. But I think we're going to go Trent Alexander-Arnold. We also got Stuani again. You know, what are the odds? Wow, shock. We've got Stuani twice. Mental. All right, so... Yeah, I think Alexander Arnold. There's really no other option here. I, I can't really, I can't warrant not taking the Premier League player because if we ever need a Premier League squad or something, then we've got a decent right back in Trent Alexander Arnold. But we also have Kyle Walker in the club actually, so Spanner in the wags. All right, come on, EA, please. One of the big boys, one of the big ones. First ever elite rewards. I really hope it's rewarded with something decent. I really hope we get something, anything good. Hopefully, here we go. Please, please, Balde Diaw is good. Baldo Diao is decent, actually. He's a very good super sub. Um, he's actually got a pretty solid card. Four-star, four-star. Decent stats for a super sub. Kind of a little bit disappointed that we didn't get any of the higher-rated ones. We got 85 Stuani in all three of our picks, which, in my opinion, is stupid. But it is what it is, you know. We could have taken three 85 Stuani's if we really wanted to. But I'm going to take Baldo Diao, 83 rated. I don't think we've done too badly. Elite 2 has not been too bad for the red player picks. Um... Not as good as previous weeks, but I'm hoping that when we get a huge team of the week, that's the week that I get lucky because I feel like I'm, I'm owed or due like a decent week for, for once at least. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, we've got the 100,000 coins in the bag. So we're up to 400k and we also have a 100k pack and a premium team of the week pack. My first ever premium team of the week pack, actually, which I'm very excited about. So 100k pack first. Let's see if we can get a walkout in this. No walkout. What a surprise. What a surprise, EA. You'd, you'd be shocked. You'd be shocked if you heard it anywhere else. But we do get an inform. It's going to be an Argentinian right wing back from the MLS. It's going to be Escobar. Not to be confused with Pablo Escobar. Not the same person. Don't know why I'd even make a reference to that, really. But you know what? We'll, <laughs> we'll take it. It's an inform at least. 10,000 coins minimum in the bag from that. Anything else decent in the pack? 84 Marquinhos, 83 Promes, 82 Fred. Not too bad, to be fair. No duplicates, though. And you know what's good about these packs is all of these guys are selling for about 1,000 coins. So although Escobar, let me quickly double-check on Footbin, is going for probably Discard, I'm guessing. Uh, you know what? I don't even need to check. I'm just going to guess he's going for Discard. I don't think he'd go for anything more than Discard. Yeah, he's going for Discard. All these guys I'm going to send to the transfer list because they all will sell 
for at least a thousand coins, which is pretty decent. So, you know, we've at least got about 24,000 coins plus 10k. So 34,000 coins at a bare minimum from that pack. It's not too bad, to be fair. We're up to about 130k made for our Elite 2 rewards, so we'll take it. Um, and we're over 400k. So now that I, I'm, I'm nervous for this, I'm, I'm genuinely nervous for this. I'm nervous. This is this is this is a bit nerve wracking. Um, this this is the point we've been waiting for. The elite team of the week pack. I've never had one of these on my account on FIFA 19. This is the first one. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. Come on, EA, please, please. Oh my flipping god. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh no. Oh no! You actually hate to see it. I'm in shock. Not even an 84 plus. Oh my word, EA. That is absolutely shocking. Why did I even. Why did I waste my time? Why did I waste my time? So we've got a 16k card in Santamina. Hooray. That's going to break the absolute bank. And these guys are both discards. So, you know what? Why did I waste my time? <laughs> Yay. All right. You know what? We've got some other rewards to open. Hopefully, they're better than mine because mine were absolutely shocking. But we did get Elite 2 for the first time ever. And Elite 2. Uh, sorry. Elite in Foot Champs for the first time in FIFA 19. So, very exciting. And hopefully, we can progress next week and get even higher. Maybe Elite 1. Who knows? We're going to go for it and probably going to end up getting 22 again. But we'll see. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, let's jump on to some more rewards. So as the stream just politely let me know, that German inform that I got in my Team of the Week pack sold for 40,000 coins and I discarded him. I'm an idiot. I am genuinely so stupid. But we've got Mark's rewards now. They are gold three. I like to have these kind of rewards in here because when Mark gets better than me in gold three, I'm going to be really angry and you guys are probably going to find it funny. So uh, first of the two player picks with three players in, probably going to be better than mine already. Uh, it's close. It's Pavlenka. I'm guessing, you know... We're probably going to get better than mine in these. I, I, I could already guess they're going to be better than mine. So, yikes. So, this, the start is, is already better. <laughs> Dude. Oh, okay. I, I can't believe I discarded that guy that's sold as well. And you know what? He gets the same as me with Trent Alexander-Arnold. So, in terms of players, rating-wise... Very similar to mine in gold three. Decent gold three rewards as well. Alexander Arnold's a fantastic player. So we get 30,000 coins, two mega packs, and a rare players pack for gold three. Let's see if we can get anything good in these rewards. So we're going to start off with the first 35k pack. These seem to be decent for everybody but me. But then again, I'm just, you know, everything's be everything's decent for everything but me. My pack look, oh, sorry, yeah, my, my pack look in general, my reward pack look, my pack look in general seems to be awful and then have these weird spurts of incredible pack look and then goes awful again for the rest of the year. So, you know, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gutted that I discarded that guy. I'm, I'm, I'm actually so mad at myself that I, I just wasn't thinking about the SBCs that are out. So, Decent first pack there, 84 and 83. Sent all the rares to the transfer list because they all sell for about 1,000 coins each. I'm going to go through and sell mine after this as well. Um, so not a bad start for a mega pack. 84 and 83 is decent. Second mega pack now. If we can get anything decent, that'd be great. Walkout maybe? No walkout. That's uh, It's just the way of the road, really. I don't expect walkouts from mega packs, to be fair. But Eric Bai is not bad. 82 rated. This guy used to sell for a hell of a lot at the start of the game. I think he's probably about 2,000 coins now, but still 2,000 coins more than what he had already. So that's not too shabby, not too bad at all. Um, and a lot of rares in that one, actually. Damn, there's a lot of rares in that one. So we'll go ahead and store all these three dupes as well. We'll just discard those. We don't really want those. And we've got a rare players pack now for gold three. What should be better than my 100k pack and team of the week pack combined? Here we go. It's going to be an icon or something. Watch. I'm just predicting it okay it's not a walkout thank god for that thank god i don't think i can take another week of me getting shafted and then somebody with like gold three getting better than me because it happens every week these are what these videos are about and i just hit something i don't know what I just hit but i'm gonna skip over that so a3 fully paid a 50k pack is kind of a bit meh but you know what the red rewards were decent so cannot complain at all about those red rewards and i'm liking the new play faces as well there's a few players in here carlos Herbert being one with uh, some new play faces i'm kind of i'm kind of enjoying it it's pretty decent so uh let's go ahead and open up the rest of the rewards we've got for this video 
All right, now for Simon's rewards. Now, Simon was actually away all weekend. He got back on Sunday and went 17-1, and one, I believe. I think it was 17-1, and 16-1, and one, something like that. Um, I think, yeah, 16-1, and one, sorry. He went 16-1 and one in, in weekend league on Sunday night. So, he also got gold three. Um, but I think it's mental how, like, imagine being good at the game, or being so good at the game, sorry, that you can actually go away for an entire weekend, get back on Sunday and still win 17 games in the space of like two hours. My brain. I wish, I wish I could do that. So we've got two player picks now on Simon's account. Simon's pack look is rigged. I'm just going to throw that out there now. Lose our joint on the first one is actually not too bad. I, I still, I think that card will be good in game. Four star skill moves, decent pace, decent finishing. 87 finishing is more than decent actually. 88 jumping, 82 heading accuracy, 76 strength. I think as a super sub, we'll probably be pretty solid. So uh, we'll go ahead and take Luis Adriano as the first red player pick. Let's see what the second red player pick is going to be. Is it going to be decent? Is it going to be better than any of mine? Okay, this is awkward. This is awkward. So here's the thing. Simon's Division Rival Awards, if you guys didn't check that video out, go check it out. His Division Rival Awards had Informed Tovan in as an untradeable, and he's just got red Informed Tovan. So we're going to take Tovan because he's the 86. Better than my rewards, by the way. Uh, but now he's got two versions of the exact same player in tradable, which is just a bit unfortunate. So still a solid card, though. Very, very nice card indeed. We'll go ahead and take those. And that's just unfortunate for Simon that uh, he's got the same player twice in two different variants. I think I did the same thing last week with uh, Forest. So that's just unfortunate. But we've got two mega packs now and a rare players pack. Let's see if the look of Simon's account is in, in Foot Champions Rewards this week. And he's going to start off with a board drop. It's going to be... Who's it going to be? It's going to be Belgian. It's going to be a centre back. It's going to be 85 rated company. That's actually pretty decent. I don't know how much company's going for. He was going for a decent amount over Black Friday because of the, uh, I want to say the flashback SBC. 11,000 coins though. It's not actually too bad. That's that's a decent amount of coins. We'll take that. Uh, not too shabby at all. Um, and Borman in the same pack. For a 35k pack, that's actually solid. Quaglia Quagliarella there with the uh, updated player face. And uh, Forsberg with an updated player face as well. So uh, in terms of uh, how foot jumps rewards go, it's a 35k pack. That's not too bad. Go ahead and take that and we'll, uh, we'll send it to the trade pile and discard the rest. We've got another 35k pack now. With Simon's rigged pack look, I'm expecting a walkout or something in this 50k pack that we've got. Uh, I'm expecting like an icon to informs uh, Ronaldo and Messi in the same pack. Like his pack look is just rigged and it's annoyingly rigged. So, you know, we'll see what we get in the 50k pack. I'm I'm fully expecting it, honestly. I'm fully expecting it. But uh, not the world's greatest 35k pack as the second one. But we'll send, of course, the rest of the transfer list. And we'll... Uh, oh, 3,000 coins isn't bad. And we've got Moses there as well. Send him to the transfer list and we'll uh, send the rest of the club. So we've got 50k pack now for Simon's account. His elite, sorry, his gold three rewards, not even elite three, gold three rewards. Let's see what we can hit for Simon now. Uh, is he going to be decent from the 50k pack? No walkout. Wow. EA have been stingy with rewards today. EA have been really stingy. Damn. Maybe they're saving the best till last. Who knows? It's going to be, uh, I don't even know. It's going to be Saul. 85 rated is not bad. 285 is to be fair. is not too shabby. I think he's about 10, 11k as well. So that is not too shabby at all. Uh, anything else decent in the pack? 283s as well. You know what? That's actually decent rewards. Inaki Williams with a new player face as well. And Shervy. Not too bad. We'll just send all that to the to the club and there's the chance for this. So that's Simon's rewards done. 16 and 1 in the space of like two hours on Sunday is mental. And uh, he's been pretty well rewarded for it. I can't deny. Those reds are decent. Now we're going to jump over to Xbox and open the last of the rewards. Let's see what we can get from those. And onto the Xbox now. We have got the last of the Foot Champs rewards. We've got Jim's Real Estate Awards. Uh, rewards, sorry. He got gold one this weekend. I think that's one of his best finishes in FIFA 19 so far. At least the best, one of the best that we've actually opened rewards for him for. So pretty decent. Now he's got two uh, player picks of four players. So let's see if gold one is going to be good this week. Maybe it's the sweet spot for rewards this week. Who knows? We're yet to get some absolutely incredible rewards. But the first one's going to be Alexander Arnold. Decent player there. We'll go ahead and take that. I think he's been in every single one of the reds that we've opened so far. And in terms of how right back cards go, it's not too shabby. It's actually a really, really decent card. Now, for the second uh, red player pick item, 
He's going to have to be Luis Adriano, I think. There's no way he can't be Luis Adriano. 82 rated there. Not too great from gold one, but not too shabby. I mean, it's decent. And one thing I do want to say, my theory for red player picks and foot champs in general is if you have bad player picks, you get good tradable packs and vice versa. If you have good player picks, you get bad tradable packs. That is my theory for player picks and tradable packs. That's just the way that I see it. So... Not too bad though. I mean, 82 uh, Alexander Arnold is not too shabby. Uh, Luce Adriano as well is a good super sub. So we'll go ahead and store that. Now, of course, he gets 50,000 coins and he gets the two 100k packs. He also has one pack in the store ready for us to open, which is a UCL2 player pack. So we'll open that first. Let's see if we can get anything good from the UCL2 player pack. It is not going to be a walkout. As expected, these packs haven't been great for me this second or third set. Uh, I think my best ever set was the first set, but it's going to be Jimenez. 85 rated is not too bad, to be fair. Uh, good for SBCs, I'm expecting. And this is one thing I want to, I want to let you know, because I run the footmark over here. Uh, I'm expecting there to be an SBC and require an, a UCL card in it. Uh, so it's decent to get the high rated ones. But we do have two 100k packs. Hopefully get at least one walkout in these. So, first 100k pack. Here we go. Come on, EA. Hook us up with something good. Not going to be a walkout. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with my look today? EA have just been like, you know what, mate? You know what? Today's not your day. Today's not your day. As we get 84 Schmeichel. We're looking for a Dane. But it's not that Dane. It's a Dane that plays in midfield for Tottenham. Not a Dane that plays in goal for Leicester. Come on, EA. Get it right. Get it right, EA. Come on, dude. <laughs> That's just unfortunate. That is just super unfortunate. But you know what? It is what it is. We've got some decent players as well. Uh, Rafinha there as well. Uh, now, Jim actually... One thing that's kind of stupid about Jim's account is Jim can't access his transfer list. It's it's kind of... I don't understand it. He can't access his transfer list. Uh, and I think he got like trade banned for selling silvers. Now, I know a lot of people out there have been affected by the same thing. It's so stupid and EA taking so long to deal with it. It's it's ridiculous. And if anyone from EA is watching this, get on this because that's so stupid. And I can't believe they actually making people wait like this. So, last 100k pack and last pack for the video. If you guys did enjoy, smash your like down below. Walk out. Let's go. We're going to end on a walk out. What's it? Oh, dude, I thought that was an icon. It is an icon. Oh, my God. Icon. No way! Bobby Moore's 89 card! I thought that was an icon! Oh my god! We just got an icon, boys! No way! <laughs> I was like, dude, that's a white flare, but that's not an icon. I thought it was an inform. Dude, 700k at least! Oh my god! Let's go! Let's freaking go. Jim's real estate is going to be over the moon. First ever icon in rewards I've had before. Let's go. Oh my word. That's the second icon I've actually packed in FIFA 19. Obviously, I packed Van der Sar in FIFA Bingo. And we've gone ahead and packed 89 Bobby Moore from Gold 1 Rewards. Let's go. That's incredible. So happy for that. Oh, Jim's going to be over the moon. Let's freaking go and 85 Kimmich and 84 Davidson Sanchez oh my word what an incredible pack wow 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 that's insane that is insane that's absolutely insane what a way to end it what a way to end it let's go I mean it could have been fairly <laughs> Only I can sit here and complain about an icon. I mean, it could have been Ferdinand. Could have been Sol Campbell. But you know what? 89 Bobby Moore is insane. So if that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new on here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you lads later.